Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh My name is Johanna May White Kokan from BSCE 2B and my report is all about decision analysis model But before that, let me talk about what is decision analysis Decision analysis is a methodology for making decisions with uncertain outcomes and difficult trade-offs Its purpose is to evaluate the alternatives available to a decision maker and to rank them in light of his information and preferences Decision analysis integrates whether information is available, whether based on subjective judgment or any level of modeling or information gathering together with the consideration of all relevant outcomes, monetary or non-monetary, into the recommendation. Decision analysis is discipline of evaluating complex alternatives in terms of values and uncertainty. Values are generally expressed monetarily because this is a major concern for management. Furthermore, decision analysis provides insight into how the defined alternatives differ from one another and then generates suggestions for new and improved alternatives. Numbers quantify subjective values and uncertainties which enable us to understand the decision situation. These numerical results then must be translated back into words and in order to generate qualitative insight. Humans can understand, compare, and manipulate numbers. Therefore, in order to create a decision analysis model, it is necessary to create a model structure and assign probabilities and values to fill the model for computation. This includes the values for probabilities, the value function for evaluating alternatives, the value weights for measuring the trade of objects, and the risk preferences. Once the structure and numbers are in place, the analysis can begin. Decision analysis involves much more than computing the expected utility for each alternative. If we stop there, decision makers will not gain much insight. We have to examine the sensitivity of the outcomes, weighted utility for key probabilities, and the weight and risk preferences parameters. As part of the sensitivity analysis, we can calculate the value of perfect information for uncertainties that have been carefully modeled. There are two additional quantitative comparisons. The first is the direct comparison of the weighted utility for two alternatives on all of the objectives. The second is the comparison of all the alternatives on any two selected objectives which shows the Pareto optima uh, optimality for those two objects. Complexity in the modern world along with information quantity, uncertainty, and risk make it necessary to provide a rational decision-making framework. The goal of decision analysis is to give guidance, information, insight, and structure to the decision-making process in order to make better, more rational decisions. A decision needs a decision-maker who is responsible for making decisions. This decision-maker has a number of alternatives and must choose one of them. The objective of the decision-maker is to choose the best alternative. When this decision has been made, events that the decision-maker has no control over may have occurred. Each combination of alternatives followed by an event happening leads to an outcome with some measurable value. Managers make decisions in complex situations. Decision tree and payoff matrices illustrate this situation and add structure to the decision problems. Elements of Decision Analysis Model The mathematical models and techniques considered in decision analysis are concerned with prescriptive theories of choice or option. This answers the question of exactly how a decision maker should behave when faced with a choice between these actions which have outcomes governed by chance or the actions of competitors. The elements of decision analysis problems are as follows. You can just see in the presentation because I won't read them one by one because it will take too much of my time. So, next. We have here the source of errors in decision making. The main source of errors in risky decision making problems are false assumptions, not having an accurate estimation of the probabilities, relying on expectations, difficulties in measuring the utility function, and forecast errors. That's all. Thank you for listening.